this is going to be a tutorial on how you change stuff inside of your client. A few things. So, you're going to go into your source, you're going to go and you're going to try, and, or you're not going to try, you're going to type client.java. And I'm going to edit it with notepad because I have notepad. Then I'm going to use, or wait, what am I going to search? I'll search my name and you search the uh, you could either search the owner's name on the client or you can search the name of the server on the client and it's pretty cool so I can change whatever I want in here so I'm going to change this to a dash instead of a space um, your name donator There we go. So you can change the owner through here, and you can also change the staff, the slayer task, or whatever it says in the client. So let me show you real quick. If I run the server up, you can change pretty much everything this says right here. Your rank and all that kind of stuff. So if I search up rank, I guess there's no rank. I guess that's just gonna stay there. Rank administrator. But yeah, you could change all this, whatever it says. So PK points. Let's say PK points. Let's see if I want it. Hmm, actually. What can I change just to show you? All right, so I'm gonna change it to amount. Hmm, fuck it, I'll just change it to players killed just to show you that it works. And I'll change donator credits to donator points. And I'm gonna save that, log out, log out and compile and rerun my server. So I'm running the server right now. I'm going to go in game. And as you can see, donator points has been changed. Players killed, where is it at? Has been changed as well. And also there is a dash on semi escape. It's pretty cool. So that's how you change it. Or we'll change the quest list. Which is pretty cool. So yeah, thanks for watching.